Oh my god, Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's hardly Christmas anymore. So, well, listen, folks. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's normal. Okay. Hi, Biche. How are you? How you been? The Yellow Media? <laughs> this is Chef and Surf, my famous buddy Douglas. Yeah. I'm right here. Sorry for being late. We're sorry. The last time, a lot of people asking me to join us, John Jade, live. But I was, I was in a restaurant. I was busy. Okay. So, one of the main reasons why I have decided to do a live is because I heard today something that was extremely disturbing to me and I 100% wanted to clear the the air about this because it's just nasty, nasty bullshit. A mistake. A little mistake. Okay, here's the tea. Devin called me a pedophile, and so did a specific blogger. And to me, this is character assassination. It is a lie, and it's really disturbing. And the reason is that because I married a younger man makes me a pedophile. And I'm sorry, but this is like really, really sick, okay? And you know what? I've only spoken highly of Devin, that she has a beautiful family. She has Jahong, who is such a gracious husband, and she has beautiful children. And I never, never expected her to hit below the belt like this to call me a pedophile. And to me, this is really sick. And the reason is because I married a younger man. Sweetheart, let me tell you something. Marrying a younger man does not make you any way, okay? Yeah, I'm 52. When I married him, I was 50 at the time. And to everybody who says I catfish, Aladdin, bullshit. He married me two times. If I'm such a, you didn't have to marry me the first time, and you sure as hell did not have to marry me. The, okay, let's get that clear. So, to all you haters who like to say, Tam, mm, sorry, darlings, no. Okay, so who cares? Care because you're joining in on this live and you care if you don't care and you do not have to follow me if you don't care. All I'm saying is these rumors about me, I've had enough and then that I get to speak up and say stop it. Enough is enough. Because I married a young man does not make me a pedophile, okay? And that's just really, really sick for people to go about you? Yeah, you can call me catfish. I could care less. Who is a real catfish? Did I need citizenship to a country? No, I did not. And if you're catfish, do you marry the woman two times? No, you do not. You don't even marry her once. When you see her at the airport, and if you feel like you're a catfish, you say, hasta la vista, baby. Do you not? Or do you just play a game because the only reason you're in it is to get your citizenship? Listen, everybody who thinks they know my finance, you know dick shit about my finances. 
Ecuador is one of the top five countries to retire in. You can live here cheap and you can live here safely, unlike another, a lot of countries in South America. So, Okay, I'm sorry, I'm just reading as I read it. No, I'm not drunk, okay? Oh. I'm quite sober. And you know what, if you think I'm drunk, why are you following me? Yeah, I did actually retire from my job. And if this is so hard for people to believe, I kind of need to get over it, okay, because where am I? I'm living in another country and I'm collecting an income and I'm good, so thank you. Whatever. How much did you drink today? Seriously, you guys are pathetic. To think I'm drinking right now. I have not drunk anything. Okay, so I've always tried to take the high road when it came to Devon, but after hearing how she was calling me a pedophile, I am no longer going to take the high road because this is totally pathetic that anybody would ever accuse me to being a pedophile. I have two sons of my own, okay? Yes, I married a younger man, but how many men marry younger women? Do they get called a pedophile? Oh, hell no, but just because I'm an older woman who married a younger man, I'm a pedophile? Like, I'm sorry, but your way of thinking is really sick, okay? And let me just say, when we were in New York and I met Devin for the first time, I was actually the only cast member who went up to her to say hello to her because Everybody else thought she was too good to smell her own shit, okay? So I was the only one who approached her and said, Hi, Devin, my name is Laura. We're on the same show. And then the night after, me, her, and Corey went out for drinks. She was the one who offered to pay for the drinks on her own own accordance, not to anybody else. And I thought she was a really nice person. And then, as soon as I question, why is Lydia babysitting your kids and why is she here at the tell-all all of a sudden I became enemy number one so you guys can believe whatever you want to believe but I think Lydia would be the last person I would ever call to babysit my kid personally and then to have her call me a predator over young men that's insane like, how low can you go? I think that Devon is a beautiful woman. She has a gorgeous family. Jahoon is such a nice gentleman. He has such a kind spirit about him. And I kind of feel like he probably deserves somebody better than her because she's just such a nasty bitch. And she makes up these crazy rumors. And I don't know why, because she is such a gorgeous woman. She does not have to come after me. Hello? I am a friggin' 52-year-old. I am not young and beautiful like she is. So 
she kind of needs to stay on her own lane and not call me a pedophile because legally you have right to put it in the legal process and you should marry Screw her world because you cannot say this about a person. To a certain blogger whose name I will never, ever say out loud, you need to watch yourself, homeboy. You are making crazy accusations about a person you don't dip shit about and you need to stop right now because creating character assassination and this my friend is very and as far as I know right now you're in a lot of trouble with the law so shut your fucking mouth your mouth Okay, so now let's aim bigger and deeper. Let's talk about Evelyn and Kari. We have shown proof that Evelyn is in fate. Okay, so she can play with you guys and say, and disclose because of contract. <laughs> the day after the tell all, you were able to disclose exactly what your relationship was okay so for her and Corey to say we cannot disclose is 100 percent bullshit and for her to pretend that she might be on season two is bullshit because there are only two people who are on season two of the other way and that is jenny and devon Devin is because they were not able to complete her story because she was the last one that they were able to tape. And Jenny because her story was actually really interesting. So these are the only two you will see on the where, um, 90 day work um, the other way. For in March you will see 90 days, where are they now? Which is what Corey and Evelyn taped, myself, everybody taped the where are they now. However, I'm actually the only one that's come clean to say, I'm not on season two. And despite what certain bloggers and people might say, I'm not going after a season two. I'm good with it, I'm done. My storyline is over. Me and Aladdin are done. Our storyline is zippo, okay? So to say that I want to pursue it and go on more shows with Sharp, that's not true at all. I'm only concerned right now about my own life. No season two, nothing. Okay, so let's move on to Corey and Evelyn, okay? Because I feel like there's been so much false information out there. And first of all, I want to say that when Corey returned to Ecuador, Evelyn would not let him back in their house. I allowed Corey to come and live with me, okay? So... People can say this and that, and Corey can say this and that, but I was the only one who actually opened up my home to him. Nobody else was, and Evelyn sure as hell was not opening up her house to him. And, and why? Because Evelyn and Corey, although they were legally married, Evelyn was carrying on a relationship with a gentleman from Wales whose name is Richie. And we showed pictures of her with Richie. So, I am now going to let you talk to my good friend Douglas, who can verify what I'm saying is not bullshit, but it is the truth. Hi, everybody. So, here's the thing. I know I have been like four years old. Signs that you just move on to Playas. I know her for the, having a good surfer friends. And I know all the story completely. 
I really was super friend, I mean Corey, and I, oh, everybody was so happy. But after that, she's a she was li she's lying. Okay, I'm never gonna be happy or ask it the way she talked about me and my husband. I had a lot of conversation, everything. She has some issue with Corey, okay? So ever, everybody knows in here her issues. Everybody know Evelyn and Corey and Puerto Rican about and Playas. Everybody know how bad she treat Corey. Corey is a good person, is a friend, by the way. Sometimes you never know. But I think he's lost and he's blind. So I don't know we were right. Evelyn told all the information to John Jade about my husband. He having a cancer. He has 70 years old. If she has some problem with me, she need to fix it with me. What difference does this make? He never talked to you. He never bothered you. How John Jay having a life and talking about me? First of all, I know a, a house boy for a star. He's my husband. We have more than five years together. And the way she talked about me is nasty. It's disgusting how the way she talked about my husband. He is a fucking liar. And the way, like John Jay say, show proof. I don't want to do that. Okay? Because I know how look bad talking about a woman. But she's talking about me too. First of all. Second of all, everybody was around her. They never talk to her anymore. She don't have friends. Okay, what support is she talking about in here? Nobody loves her. Even she has some issue with her sister. Okay? And I know this from a good person. Mm -hmm. She's very fat. Like John Jay say, she's fat. She's fat. Very fat. First of all, I don't know. She's a coward. If she has some problem with me, go fix with me. Come and fight it with me. Second, I don't know. She say she tell everybody it's a, a lie what I say, but honey money. Honey bunny, because you're a stupid bunny. Why you write me one day after Salina's trip with Corey? You are such a bitch. Why are you pressing another girl to Corey? I will never do that, you broke with Arthur. I have the receipt. Like she always said, I have the receipt. I have the receipt too, honey. So quit talking about me. If I would, would like to destroy you, I will. But I don't want to be more involved. Not because I don't want, it's because my husband is not comfortable with this. But I'm here. Live, live your life. Do your homework. Clean your apartment. You don't have anybody to support you in the place you live. Okay? If you want to start a legal process to me, I will be there. I will be present. I want to you show or prove or explain how to the court on the you how you fuck promotion the hate to me to block my account to block Laura account. You are such a coward. Okay. Second, John Jay, you will never talk about my husband again. He don't. You even don't know me. You even don't know my husband. You don't know anything about us. If you. If you call my husband ugly old man again, you're gonna have a serious problem with me. Okay? In the same way you always review my Instagram, you're supposed to know I was traveling the last month. And I will too. So I don't have time for you. I don't want to be in your life. I don't need a followers. Honey, I work many years for how the cars I work, the cars I buy, the place I live, the la the Lifestyle I did, I do. Fuck off, shut out your mouth, Amaral. Anyway, I, it's totally different. 
Okay? You would like to live in the place I live or the, the cars I drive. Fear to fix your problem with Corey in your issues. Go and fix your land problem, your property problem first. Because Corey don't have any uh, paper about the money he spent in Badala and you want to take it away from him. Okay, honey. So sure, don't talk about me. I don't need followers. I live in comfortable. I have a good friends are with me when I surf. They're not talk to you. Remember the video they sent to him? Uh, Dennis and all that little, a bunch of people when we were reaching in the Fritz Peter Hotel. Fuck you, okay? Second, Raul is my such a good friend many years before I meet you, okay? I love him, he loved me. And you need to say the truth. He have a girlfriend like five years ago. And you know why you cause some problem between them. Because you're that kind of person. You like to talk shit about people. I have a lot of people around me, they can say the truth too. If I want, I can go to Porting about and interview people, they hate you. You are out alone by yourself. And we have Raul's girlfriend here yeah. to tell the truth. Um, I'm sorry, but she's really busy with her kids. But, but, it, she knows the truth too. Yes. So if you keep, in the same way you keep talking about my husband, because John Jay don't have any way to know anything about my husband, and you was the fucking coward to all the information to him. So in the same way, I would like to confirm that. I have pictures, I have I screenshots. I don't care, do what you want. Feed your car by the way you crash. Who knows why? So quit talking about the people. Okay. We quit pretending like you're single, both of you guys. Because you're not. But let me tell you something. In here in Ecuador, all the marriage or issues problem you have, they're going to show up automatically in the fucking government issues page. So everybody can go and write your name and see how many marriage you are or how many problems you got. So shut up. That's the only I want to say. Don't fight it with me. In the same way, I have my husband, I have my family. I'm not alone. I have my family, they love me. I don't have an issue with my family. Why you never go surf with people? You, you're living in front of the, um, the beach. Why you never go surf? Because you feel alone. Feel your problem with your family first, after you, before you t start talking about people. And here's my, my message to John Jay. Quit being her side. She's using you the same way you use her to have more followers. I don't need followers. <laughs> Honey, I work a lot. I have my own business, my family business, my husband business, everything. I don't need followers. Okay? Just check out my profile and my Instagram and see how I live. And if you want to know the real truth, maybe you should look up DUI in Washington State in the month of November Ooh. 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 to see who's really a bad boy and was intoxicated while driving while you say all these horrible things about us and that we are drunk. Mm, sorry, we don't get DUIs actually, but there's a certain person who was caught in a DUI and if you want to look it up just look up Washington State DUIs Corey Rathburn and then come talk to me okay yeah so everybody needs to be happy quick word about the, the girl she don't have any truth to say it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. That's true. So anyway, 
I will always be here for Laura. That's the matter that people say, she's going to betray you. Good. She can be a bad person, but I don't know that. Until now, she's a good friend. And I'm not going to stop talking with her just because you told me that or because everything said. First of all, Lara, when she come in here, she buy everything. She invite us. I don't know how she say she support her. I was there. Evelyn didn't even invite me. Corey invited me here, not Evelyn. So Evelyn playing like she invited me. She brought me into her, her home. It's total bullshit. She never invited me into her home. I went to Inkabao for like three days. And that was I'm oh sorry. my god, Inkabao is it's a village full of pigs and no thank you. I moved to a real city, okay? And I got my own place. Evelyn was not my source. And when Corey didn't have a home, I am Anyway, Corey know what he had, what he got. I don't want to show up or put in Instagram the picture, how bad he thought about her. You remember Corey problem with Evelyn because Larissa in Las Vegas thought about her? It's true. She was deported. Why she don't take care of her problem fears before I start talking about people? Evelyn was working illegal in Washington State. And when she got pulled into secondary immigration, they went through her phone. And found out that she was working illegally and they banded her. That's the truth. You don't have to believe me. Look it up. Yourself. Go to the state government page and figure it out. Exactly. Just look it up yourself. She got banned from the U.S. because she was Tyson. a legal worker in the U.S. So if you guys want to support that, cool. Tyson. Calm down. But the truth is, <laughs> I find it kind of funny that people say I was deported because I never was deported. No, you're not. You always come by when you want. Exactly. I always kept within my visa limit. And guess what, folks? If you don't keep within your <laughs> visa limit, you cannot get a visa for another country. Hello? And you all saw when I, la when I left Orlando and went to Qatar, was I pulled into ISIS? No. Was Evelyn pulled in? Hell yeah. She was pulled in. They she went to her never come phone. By and no, she cannot go back to the U.S. Because Tyson. She, she was working illegally. Tyson, another thing. Well, he had bring some friend to my uh, a beach, another beach, when Corey was there. It's not my problem, okay? I don't have an adult and tell Corey that. The way she's thinking it is. You have many issues before this, okay? If, you, if Corey having a lover or is unfaithful to you, because you was fierce, maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna just, you keep talking about me so I can present or show up all the receipts. They say, what you say, I have all the receipts. I'm gonna do the. Exactly. Because the real problem is when Corey met Selena about three weeks ago and Evelyn went crazy on both me and Douglas because. She were responsible for Corey cheating on her. Actions. And <laughs> we are not responsible for Corey's actions. He's a full-grown man. And he was sick and tired of her cheating on him. So when we went to Selena's, because 
according to her, she could not see a man. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. She could not see a woman from our city, Plyas or <laughs> Engelbau. Okay, she can have a lover, and he cannot. So she can have a lover, but he cannot have a lover in Ecuador. In the entire country of Ecuador, that was her thing. Was like, you can have a lover, but not in the entire country of Ecuador. So when we took Corey to My Salinas, Douglas Beach House, the second beach house. I had two, by the way. He has two beach houses, but she went shit crazy on us because he met a woman we did not drug the woman <laughs> <laughs> he picked her up all on his own and we will actually go to Salinas and we will do a live with her just so we're not going to be called liars because we have videos and pictures. Yeah, and we do have and videos. All of the him text with her. she write us super mad. Blame us. Remember how Laura you can do that. Bring a girl for court. You remember that? Yeah. We have all the text too. So go ahead. We are a fucking open book for whatever search you want to do do it the person is lying in her not us not us it's like Corey we told him hey if she can have a lover why can't you right like why does Corey have to be so faithful to her when she's not at all faithful to him so and the more worst part She's on Fainful, like 500 meters. <laughs> yeah, 500 meters from her house. And yet, she's saying, you can't have a lover in the entire country? Come on. Richie is like one kilometer from your house. And like, everybody know that. Everybody. All the downtown know that. It's not for nothing that people call you, how they call her? A free mattress, downtown mattress. Mm -hmm. That's so funny. Really. It's like, Corey, don't let her treat you like this. You deserve Get on with your life. But here's the problem. When you look up... Uh, a man who doesn't have a backbone, who's like a pussy kisser you will find Corey and as I tried to help him out and tried to tell him you deserve better in your life and we need to move on from her. he did and you know the other day when he did a live and he was coughing his head off <laughs> you know what you want to tell me <laughs> his head off because he caught her cold her whatever she had he you never she know gave it to him <laughs> and he actually gave it to me by us living in the same house like that's how contagious it was so it's like he's coughing his head off because of her and then. by that way, I was there when you, I helped you and Corey move on. So the apartment yeah. was completely good. Yes, yes. I moved out of the apartment because I was like, I'm done with this shit. I can't come between both of you anymore. You guys are um, like too much drama. Crazy. It's too much drama. We're not even drinking any wine tonight. We're telling you the truth. Yes. If if you choose to believe the bullshit that Evelyn tells you, then good for you. Keep following it because her entire storyline was bullshit. 
And we already proved to you guys. Um, she's married. She's married. We she already was deported. Posted she's been deported from the U.S. So you don't she see, won't be going back to the U.S. anytime soon because. It's some connection between Larissa say that she. Yeah, even because Corey was said, in there in Las Vegas. So yeah, we don't say that first. Larissa does and Corey does before the dead that. Yeah, so what, is Larissa lying too? Are we all lying? So about? three people lying about her, like she's the queen. She's not the queen, okay? Yeah. She pretend to, but she's... She's not the queen. She got deported out of the U.S. She was legally... I'm sorry, folks, fan of hers, but... This and go is ahead. True. Everybody leave the United States right now up there. They can figure it out. They can page and figure yeah. it out. Immigration yeah, page. Look, go look on immigration page and see who got... And Evelyn is number one. And if you actually got a DUI, look up Washington State in the month of November. Not lying, man. Denise, Just look at that. Lo, lo que ella hizo. It is what it is. Con lo que ella habló, que sí, que se había acostado con Raúl y eso termina. Okay, whatever. So, anyway, here's the true. We are not coward. We just wait in the right moments after Christmas no, we're, because we're just tired of the bullshit, man. Yeah, it's she like needs to crazy. quit talking about us. That's yeah. the only we want. We even don't remember her. I don't care her life. It's nothing interesting there. Okay. And talking about me, I don't and need a TLC show. And she was trying to get me removed out of I don't know the country or IG. I don't know. <laughs> She's a president. <laughs> Who's she gonna oh my God! Evelyn president. Ecuador. Evelyn is a president of Ecuador. My God. And is she gonna call Willy Wonka to have me? <laughs> because girlfriend. Oh. Hey, I'm IG verified. So do what you gotta do. But I'm gonna keep my truth. And I am not going to lie about you and your situation. You need to come clean with the people and stop pretending that you and Corey are not married because you are very much yes. married. And we can figure it out in Ecuador. Whatever people can do that here. Yeah, we show proof that Evelyn is very much married. Okay? We're not going to put out bullshit without backing us up and showing the truth, okay? We're not gonna do that because we're not bullshitters. We, we, we showed you the truth. She is a married woman and her and Corey are married. And she can say, oh, we can't disclose it right now because we're under contract. That's small bullshit. We are under contract until the where are they now? Okay, after the where are the, uh, I'm sorry, we are under contract until the last episode of the tell all. So, if you want to believe her, good for you. But we are telling you the truth that her and Corey are married, she's been quite unfaithful to her marriage. So be it, if that's how she wants to be, if she wants to have this open marriage, good for her. But I know Corey, and I know he is not for an open marriage. And when he finally stepped outside the line is when Evelyn went dick shit crazy on me and Douglas. Because he happened to be with us during that time. And... We never put no date rape in this girl's <laughs> drink to make her sleep with Corey. Yeah. Corey invited her back to our house. And we even have videos of her cooking the meal back at our house. And, and the text Evelyn right the next day. Super yeah. mad. Like, what are you doing? I hate you. How you do that? All that kind of crap, we're gonna show in the right moment. Yeah, we will show it. We have receipts too, honey, and our receipt, our receipts are legitimate. We're not bullshitting. We're not gonna put out fake 
accusations out there. We're only going to say what is true. And honestly, Corey, get your DUI in order and fix it in Washington State come, I think it was June or July, uh, to where he got it remanded. And Evelyn, fuck whoever you want to fuck, but... Don't involve us, really. Don't involve We us. don't care. We don't care. Do what you want to do, man. Yeah, don't talk about us anymore. And Corey is pussy whipped. We don't care. <laughs> do what you want to do, honey. We are out of it. Me and Douglas and Raul. And Arthur, and by the way. Raul's girlfriend. We are like, we want nothing to do with it anymore. And I know that for the where are they now, you like to pretend that you and Raul had an affair. And it's, it's all bullshit, honey. It's all bullshit, and we're good with it, but you need to come clean and just tell the truth. Like, stop lying. They can check, go check my account, like, three or four years old, and they will see picture me with Evelyn and Corey. So probably, I know the truth. Oh, okay, so I'm high and I'm drunk? Mm, really? Mm -mm. Should we tell the truth about Corey and his cocaine? Mm, I don't know, honey. Man, I don't have any problem with Corey. Actually, he don't attack me back. But I don't care. I, it's not my business. I don't have any problem with him. If you have problem with him, do it. I don't care. I have a problem with him because it, he's a liar. He's like so pussy whipped. And when we went to Selena, the boy had no problem doing a little bit of, so, whatever. Yeah, then why are you following me if I'm so pathetic, okay? Because I tell the truth. You don't like the truth? If you don't like the truth, then just go bye-bye. Because -bye. me and Douglas tell it like it is. I'm, we're not lying. We're saying it as we see it, and we, we're saying it exactly what we saw. And I'm sorry if you don't like it, and it diminishes things in your head to how you saw things, but their whole storyline was fake. They were married the entire time, folks. Get over it. It's how it is. Yeah, if she, if she, I don't have problem with Corey actually. It's her. If she still attacking me, she keeping attacking me, me and my husband, I don't have any another way to just attack her back. So this is our first warning. Stop. Stop bothering me. You have more to lose than me. She has more to lose than me. So quit. Donald Trump says to <laughs> <laughs> Devin yeah. says there's no prejudice in the U.S. of A. But I think he's too short for that. She's too tiny. <laughs> she's Evelyn, too tiny. Evelyn is 99 pounds now. No, she's too tiny to be a president <laughs> or, <laughs> or airplane Listen, assistant. Evelyn can do what Evelyn wants to do. Who cares? Yeah. It's all good. And... Yes, I'm Douglas. I'm ex Evelyn friends. Now she talk about me. She hate me with no reason. So I'm Douglas. I'm doing this after two or three month attack. I have a lot of people asking me about the relationship and drama. I don't want to be involved. So fuck up. Anyways, folks, we will sign off and say good night. Hasta la vista. Thank you for joining us. And please report them. Report them. Blow her account. The same way she asking for her followers to do that with me, Laura. I ask them to say, blow them. I'm never going to talk about this trashy stuff again. Do it. The same way she attacked me, Laura. Blow her. Report her. 
doesn't matter really even the Evelyn fan page told me that Evelyn wanted her to post all these crazy shit about me and she said no I'm not gonna do it so thank God for normal people who do not fall for false accusations and uh, Devin I'm not a child rapist are you crazy like seriously get a life get on with your own life that's asinizing for you to put that out that I'm a molester and you need to watch yourself because I will take legal action and yeah you guys think I'm so broke and I can't afford a home uh -huh. mm, I can't afford legal action thank you and you have my home free too whatever you need I'm not broke I have and a she's lot not more money than you think and just and because I did not sponsor Aladdin <laughs> anymore it means I actually had a brain okay and let me tell you little ladies whoever is sponsoring some crazy shit trip to MC Travel go on TripAdvisor don't take my word go on TripAdvisor and check out the prices of the hotels he's quoting you and please realize they are not five star they're actually African three star hotels don't take my word go to TripAdvisor and see what the real price is and see how much money you are overpaying for MC Travel.